Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague, salesperson with Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. People across all makes, all models of cars, you're gonna be interested in this video. New technology, engine start and stop. What is it? What does it do? How can it benefit you? How can it help your car? Will you like it? Let's find out everything we know. The idea behind engine start and stop technology is when you pull up to a red light or a stop sign, your vehicle is going to shut off the engine while you're waiting there for a period of time. And the benefits are you're not gonna be burning fuel like all these other people around you. Burning fuel, wasting fuel, you're just sitting there. Why burn fuel? And then also you're not releasing emissions into the atmosphere, so you're environmentally friendly during that time, which is a bonus for all of us. And the other thing is, since you're not hearing the engine, it makes for a much quieter cabin, a more relaxing part of your drive. So several benefits to that. The standard default on engine start and stop system, because the manufacturers view that as a benefit, is it's going to be activated automatically every time you start up the engine. If you do want to shut it off because you don't want to use it this particular trip, you push this button right there, the A, the scarlet letter, off, on, off. And then you see on the multi-information display, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on. So now we're coming up to a red light here. See if the engine start stop system works. There it goes. The engine is shut off. Like I said, one of the benefits is a quieter cabin. It's so quiet. So now I'm not burning fuel like everyone else around me. He's burning fuel. They're burning fuel. That truck's definitely burning fuel. We're not burning fuel. Let's do another test coming to this red light. Look for the green icon to come on. There it is. And it shows you the duration that it's been activated for. One of the criticisms about the engine start stop is when you start up, you feel a little kick in the car, just a little one, it's slight. In other makes and manufacturers, it's a more aggressive jolt when you're starting up when you push on the accelerator. So that's one reason why people choose not to use it. But with the Highlander, it's very subtle. And as long as you push on the accelerator smoothly, it won't jolt you really at all. You'll feel just a little kick in. I'm in my parking lot at work. I've got the system engaged and I'm gonna start up. See how quiet it is? And just a little kick, very subtle, very slight. So there's not too much of a disadvantage there. The length of time that start and stop works is about 60 seconds at one sitting. If you want to extend that on the multi-information display, you scroll over to right here, start and stop. You can do extended just like that. Or you can go to standard. So I believe that goes from 60 seconds to 90 seconds at one sitting. Thank you so much for watching my video, everyone. I hope it was helpful. Write down in the comments section what you think of engine start and stop technology. Also, please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. I promise you have the most entertaining car reviews in the business. See you next time. Plane. Plane. If you're in the North Carolina area looking for a new car, ask for me, Jeff Teagan, sales at Fred Anderson Toyota.